it's time to say goodbye to the tech cooler. Goodbye. 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 Hey guys, welcome to Tech Support, I mean Frame Chasers. Uh, for a small fee of $2.50, you can join the Discord and we'll answer all of your tech support questions for you. For until the end of time, forever. Everyone's gonna drop whatever they're doing and help you for $2.50. Join now! Anyway guys, today, well not today, I already finished it yesterday, but today for the video, I'm gonna be taking the tech cooler off the EK one. I'm going to be showing you guys a D-Lid process on how to D-Lid a processor. <laughs> the process on d a processor. Um, and I'm going to show you the temperature differences between the bo both of them. The gaming performance differences. Is I mean, I already did a review on this product, so we're not going to go into that. But it was a cool toy to play with for a little while, but... I don't want to cling to a mistake just because I spent a long time making it. This thing is is dog shit. Oh man, is it, it's so bad. This this product, I initially said that this product is good if you want to keep your warranty and get an extra 100 megahertz. Uh, I take that back because this product came out in the winter time when the era was kind of colder. And now that it's getting hotter, the closer we get to summer, the efficiency of this product is going to complete shit. Like, it's going, it's going to complete out the window now. So it's like, this thing can't even cool like 150 watts of load. It's, it's garbage. So this, like, just no. Just no. Anyway, guys, without further ado, this is me step-by-step delitting -step my 10900K. Enjoy. Okay, so before we do anything else, I want to do a quick temperature comparison. So we're going to run OCCT here, and the CPU is going to draw 175 watts. And this is exactly how much Warzone draws while I'm playing. So let's let this run for a few minutes and see what the package ends up leveling out at. Also keep in mind that this is without the graphics card actually heating up the loop as well. So this is actually going to perform way better than what it usually would in a game, right? But, so we're a minute 30 in, and yeah, I'm just going to stop this right here. Alright, there's the D-Lid tool. In goes the CPU. It's all the old liquid metal that's on it. And in goes the vice. And that's it. I, I didn't want to show this part because I had to be really careful with it. I don't want to, I didn't want to, you know, ruin my golden chip. So, uh, but successful here, you can see that the solder clean, like sheared off cleanly. So I'm actually going to use some quick silver here. I'll show you in the next uh, clip. But, yeah, success. Okay, what I like to do first is just take a razor blade and get rid of the glue on the outside first. That's step number one, so I'm going to do that quickly. Okay, all clean. Now, this stuff here is quick silver, I think it's called, and you get it from any D-Lid kit from Rocket Cool. Um, yeah, Rocket Cool Copper IHS 10th Gen. So, this stuff... I have found is the best way to get the solder off of your die without using a razor blade and nicking it. You pretty much squirt, let me, let me show you actually, just trying to do this with one hand here. You pretty much just jizz some of this stuff on like this. I don't, you don't need very much. I'm just going to tap it on like this, right? Just... There, that's literally all you need. It's kind of like, it's, it's very similar to um, liquid metal and how it uh, acts and feels, I want to say. Um, and then you just take a credit card, you know, and you spread it around like this. All over the uh, solder. And then you let it sit for maybe 30 minutes or so. 
and then you scrape it off with your credit card, slowly but surely. And then you never have to use a razor blade, you just use the credit card. And then with the credit card, eventually you'll get to the bottom uh, with all the solder gone. So that's how I do it. I've never, ever, ever nicked a die before doing it this way. So just, I, this is how I do it. I don't know if there's, I'm sure there's other methods on how to do it, but this is how I do it. So I'll be back once I clean all this up. Okay, all clean. I'm doing the uh, the IHS over here too. So, you know, it's kind of goopy and you can, you can kind of see it eating away at the solder, right? Um, now, the next step is to use this stuff to get rid of the solder residue on the die. And this will make it a mirror finish, polish it all up really nicely. So that's gonna be next. And there we go. Perfect D-lid all around. Now let's go throw it in the rig and see if it performs better than that tech cooler. Oh, also forgot to mention today I'm gonna be using the, I don't even know what this is called. This is called the, it was $100 on performance PCs and it has a lot of RGB. That's, so that's what we're using today. Okay, liquid metal here, liquid metal there, and let's go. Now all my fittings are crooked. I don't even care at this point. I'm so done with this build. It can just stay crooked forever for all I care, whatever. And we are up. So it's starting off at 60. 63, 170, 180 watts. So we're at the same, so let's go a minute and a half and see what happens. All right, a minute and a half later, and we dropped 23 degrees. Mother of God, the tech cooler is dog shit. All right. We're at 5.4 gigahertz, 1.4 volts, 240 watts. And it's at 67, 68 package. This is infinitely better than the tech cooler. Holy shit. I'm in a game of war zone right now. And we're at 5.4 gigahertz at 60 Celsius. 63, 60, 50, I mean, I, I dropped 20 Celsius on this bitch. Like this is, this is the, this is the real, this is the real goodness here. Okay, so conclusion then, I mean, I got it all here. I'm not gonna sell it, I'm gonna keep it because this might work better with like Alder Lake, something with a smaller nanometer, something that doesn't pull as much power, right? Um. Maybe I can use it to cool down my RAM somehow, like make a block, like, 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 it's, uh, I feel like it would be good on something that pulls like less than a hundred watts. Do you know what I mean? Like, like RAM, maybe the back of a 3090 GDDR6X or something, like, 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 there has to be a use for this somewhere down the line. So it might not be today, it might not be tomorrow. Maybe when Intel gets to 7 nanometer or something like that, I'm going to hang on to it. One day I will make use of this thing, but that day is not this day. Anyway, guys, if you like the content, hit that subscribe button, do all that YouTube SEO stuff, like, share, blah, 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 blah. Um, now, that this is, now that this is complete, we can finally proceed with my... Just the, the, my entire build has backed up my all my content, so... The next video I'm going to do is going to be my final build, fastest gaming PC on the planet, etc, etc. Then we're going to get on to all the other good stuff that everyone's been waiting for. So anyway, guys, hit that subscribe button. Hit the bell notification to make sure you don't miss any of the future videos coming up. You're not going to want to miss those. And I will see you in the next one. Talk to you later.